All right, and we're back on the Alabama way. And you know, we have an exciting program that's going on in our community right here in Birmingham, Alabama. We're talking about cleaning up our neighborhoods. We're talking about helping some kids. And it's also affiliated with a few stars. So welcome this morning. We have Mr. Kelly Hall, and you're here with the League of Stars program. I am. So welcome to the Alabama Way. Thank you. Now tell us about um, your League of Stars program, your event, because it sounds so exciting. Well, League of Stars uh, program is professional amateur, so it's basic, basically a recreational league. But what we're doing around it uh, is what's really important. Uh, we have a number of stars. Uh, certain guys who are in the NBA and who are from this city who will be coming to participate and, and show support. Okay, so but some of the primary focus is giving back to the community. Definitely. We're talking about cleaning up the community and helping some of our kids um, to get rid of literacy. So let's talk about that. Definitely. Um, we're basically using basketball as a platform to bring in kids and, and, and just the community period to kind of understand what's important. Um, our community for one, literacy, our, our kids. Uh, when these kids see these stars who have come from the same areas as them and they see that they can make it and, and that they take literacy and education important, I think it, it helps them to understand what's important and, and also it, it's a path that's already laid for them. And I mean, it's, the blueprint is easy, you know, you just have to you work hard. The, the work part is hard, but the blueprint is already laid out for them. Right. So what communities can we expect to see um, the League of Stars in? You know, to say, well, hey, they cleaned up my neighborhood or they've been coming to my neighborhood. Oh, definitely. We want, we want all the communities to come out and, and, and check out what we're doing, um, support. And we want to get out in those communities as well, uh, whether it be the west side of Birmingham, north, east or, east or south side. Um, we want to get in these communities and, and, and promote what we're doing and kind of hope it hope it's contagious and, and it'll, you know, go over into the next person and, and so forth. Right. So is this your first year that you all have done this? This, this is our first year. Um, we want to make it an annual thing. Um, we're hoping to, to build from what we, we, the foundation that we've laid. Right. And so, so far, what communities have you all been in in terms of cleaning up? Uh, well, we've done uh, a literacy program down at the downtown library. Uh, we've done uh, feeding at the Jimmy Hale Mission, and we have another one July, July 14th, I think it is, uh, 11 a.m. Um, and we're doing something with Home Depot uh, for our community cleanup as well. And so when you talk about literacy, is it mainly reading? Is it that we're short on math skills also, just those science skills? Well, I, I think we want to focus on all the soft skills. I mean, I know a lot of us are athletic and a lot of kids love to go out and play, but you know, when we're trying to make well-rounded individuals, we have to work on every aspect of life, whether it be managing your finances, uh, just organizing your things, or just being on time for certain things. We want our kids to be well-rounded so when they do go out into the real society and the real world, that they'll be prepared and ready. So what do you feel from your experience you've seen um, has the breakdown occurred? Is it that something's not happening at home? Maybe, you know, mom is not able to help them with homework. Maybe they're not grasping something at school. I think every household is different. Um, you know, some people want to say that, you know, because I don't have my father here or my mom's not here or, you know, I'm with my grandparents or, you know, we make excuses for ourselves. And we as a community, we have to, you know, start to, you know, treat it as a village again. And uh, we have to care about one another. Um, if it's my child or not, if I see someone, you know, doing something that they shouldn't or doing something wrong, I want to be able to help them so that they are on the right path. So when you talk about a person like Floyd Money Mayweather, <laughs> he has money, money, and more money. Mm -hmm. You know, he has people there that just carry his money around. Mm -hmm. But it's now been revealed that he's not too good when it comes to reading. How do we get our kids to say, you know what, the money is not important, it's the education that's important? Uh, um, now, that's something I didn't know, but um, I think when our kids do hear things like that, Mayweather, you know, he has money and he's not, you know, uh, that equipped with in his re reading skills, I think that that will open the door to say, well, I understand he made it, but I, you know, I can read and I, I want to, you know, be a little bit better than 
than what he, he, he well, I want to be where he is, but also, uh, you know, again, being well-rounded when you, um, when you add that education to the part that's creating your revenue, I think it, it creates a, a well-rounded individual. So how can we make education fun for kids? Because I recently saw a video on social media where a young man was beat up by several students because he was on the honor roll. That's something we should be proud of. And, and in my mind, because I'm very strong on education, we should beat up somebody who bring home elves, who's flunking out of school, mm -hmm. not someone <laughs> that's on a honor roll. Yeah. You know, when, when I was growing up, the cool kids weren't the ones who were getting the A's and, and getting the, the making honor roll and, and stuff like that. It was the kids who had the nice shoes on or who had the nice clothes on or, and, you know, who was, you know, kind of well off, I guess. But um, I think we have to, again, as a community, we have to put more focus on what's important. And when a kid is, we want to, that's one thing we want to do is, is, uplift our kids who are making honor roll and who are getting straight A's and to show everyone oh, that this is cool and that isn't. So if uh, a parent is watching right now and they know their child may be struggling and would like to participate in their program, how can they participate? Well, we're always looking for volunteers and again, when you put yourself around certain people in a certain type of community, uh, I think, again, you start to grasp what they're they're taking on and grasp what they're giving out rather um, we want everything that we're about to be contagious to not only the kids but everyone up to older um, individuals as well okay and then you have some stars you talked about a few basketball mm -hmm. players that's involved let's talk about the stars okay <laughs> So can you tell us who are some of those celebrities? Uh, well, I've, I worked with Eric Bledsoe for the, uh, he's with the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I worked with him for five years. Uh, he's a great talent. Um, he's a household name. We're starting to become a household name. Uh, he came out last week to show support. So hopefully we'll have him to come out and play. Uh, KJ McDaniels, uh, he went to Central Park Christian. He's with the Houston Rockets, actually going through some contract negotiations right now. So hopefully he'll end up in a good spot. but. He actually has a team in our league, and uh, he'll, he's in town, so hopefully he'll be here this weekend to come out and support. If he signed his contract, hopefully he can play. If not, he can coach his team. Excellent. And what's the one takeaway that you would like for one of the kids that's participating in the program that you would like for them to go away with? Um, when I came up with the name League of Stars, it wasn't just for basketball. We want whatever league you're in, whether it be a – a politician or uh, a firefighter. We want you to be a star in whatever league you're in. So we want all the kids that come out to understand that whatever you're doing, be a star at what it is you're doing. Okay. And then how can someone contact you for more information to come and participate in the program mm -hmm. or to sign up for the program? Uh, our email is leagueofstars at gmail.com. Uh, you can reach us there. Uh, we're always looking for volunteers, and we just want it's, a, it's free admission, so we want everyone to come out and just enjoy some music, good food, and have a good time. Now, I gotta admit, I gotta work on learning who basketball players okay. are. I'm not that sports savvy as okay. I should, but everyone knows Comedian Joy is a huge Cam Newton fan. Are you gonna have Cam Newton there? I don't know about Cam Newton. They're getting ready to go in the training camps, I think, uh, and I don't really have a. a a pipeline to reach him. I mean, if, if he were to see this some kind of way, I would hope that he would come by and show support. Okay. Well, we're going to have to work on it. Okay. <laughs> I do want to wish your program much success. And parents, go ahead and um, make your kids be part of this because it's very important that we um, don't just let our kids be stars and that they're illiterate. We want to go ahead and make a difference in the community. And I think that um, the Legal Stars Pro-Am Pro is a great program for you to do that. So I want to thank you so much, Mr. Hall, for joining us. Thank you. And want to wish you the best for um, your program. And um, it. So it ends August the 8th. August, August the 8th. 8th. Okay, so parents, go ahead. You have a couple more weeks to go ahead and get signed up and be part of it. So I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back. Thank you.